Steve said, I'm the director of the Veterinary Hospital in Buffalo, New York. And the degree of cruelty in this case really touched a nerve within our community and around the world. When the nature of this crime was revealed, the friends of the City of Buffalo Animal Shelter received tributes from as far away as Australia. Tortured by the actions of these two individuals, Phoenix was only 12 weeks old when he suffered this terrible crime. Phoenix, as he is aptly named, was rescued and brought to our veterinary hospital. His large, pointed ears had been burned off his eyes were clouded by the scorching of his corneas. More than half of his body was covered with third degree burns, the worst of which were across his belly and down his left leg. His flesh had been turned into a red trail of torture on the direction of that lighter fluid down his hanging body. Morphine is an amazing drug and to watch it bring relief to him was his first respite of peace. Some images so that some of you can see that are able to even look at them as to just how far Phoenix has come. The damage to his small blood vessels prevented some of his skin from even being able to heal. The scar tissue contracted and prevented his body from even being able to move. He required constant bandages just to be able to save what tissue we could save. But with the tremendous and remarkable dedication of Judy, who is our senior veterinary technician at Buffalo Small Animal Hospital, and the hourly wound management there, Phoenix has been able to make a truly remarkable recovery. For those of you that have supported him in his recovery, I want to extend to you a deep felt thank you. The story of a foster animal being adopted by his foster family is a common story within animal shelters. It is, what is uncommon in this case is the worldwide interest in the adoption of this one puppy. After thousands of back, hundreds of background checks and uh, veterinary references there, there were still countless numbers of individuals who were willing to step forward and take Phoenix into their home. We welcome the animal advocacy supporters acknowledgement that removing Phoenix from his home with Judy and his routine care would be one more wrong done to a puppy who had already endured too much. Judy's tireless love and the trust needed to recover from this kind of rehabilitation is a bond that Phoenix will share with him the rest of his life. 